Hello friends, this is Rajiv Sharma, Strategic Analyst and your explainer of things around you. Uh, let us continue with the most important topic, coronavirus in India. Uh, there are broadly two happy developments uh, today, which uh, I would like to focus. Happy, one on the policy level, that is uh, the financial bailout package announced by Finance Minister Nirmala Sitaraman. And second, uh, a trend, a very early trend that shows that the lockdown effect, the impact is finally making a positive impression. That is, the Health Ministry's uh, latest figures of uh, new corona cases, there there is a slight decrease in the rate of growth. Let me start with the first one. The financial package of uh, 1.7 lakh crore rupees. If you recall in my yesterday's uh, video on the same subject, I had mentioned this that uh, we are getting to hear the government is planning a bailout package of 1.5 lakh crore. So broadly it is around that that mark only. So 1.7 lakh crore. A uh, good point about it is that the most, the poorest of the poor, they will be targeted for this bailout package. Uh, the money will be transferred in a DBT format, direct bank to transfer. Certain guidelines have been announced, correct criteria have been announced. Now, the persons who are going to get direct bank transfers in their accounts, uh, they belong to eight categories, including pensioners, women, farmers, etc., and uh, people of uh, people who are differently abled. Finance Minister also announced uh, that uh, five kg of rice or wheat will be given to the poor families, um, which will be in addition to what they are already getting. And this 5 kg will be free of charge for the next three months. Plus, uh, they will also be given uh, 1 kg of lentils or dal uh, of their choice for the next three months. So, now, as I said, that this is a very initial stage. We have to see how it goes, how it is implemented. But the very fact that the Congress leader Rahul Gandhi has uh, praised it and called it the the first step in the right direction that calls for something that yes, the government is on the right track. Now, let's come to the second positive news. That is, the health ministry has come up with figures that in the last 24 hours, there have been uh, only 43 cases. Which means, the what the health ministry is saying is this, that uh, this this bucks the trend of the past four days. When the past four consecutive days, the corona cases were increasing by between 70 to 80 per day. But in the last 24 hours, the cases have increased only by 43. I believe that the lockout is finally showing an impact. Well, we still have to maintain vigil and health ministry itself has said that they are not going to be re to relax and of course not why should they relax uh, we have to see we have to still again and again again and again i have been saying we have to raise our testing capacity uh, germany is an example in case a case an example rather uh, germany where the chancellor Merkel, she herself said that the 70% of the German population is afflicted with Corona. And yet, the mortality rate, the fatality rate in Germany is the lowest 
everywhere uh, across the world which is 0.5 percent why because they test they rely on testing 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 in in past one week they tested 1 lakh 40 thousand people so they realize the key well we will continue uh, with our updates thank you very much